Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. It is a beautiful day to make something fun together. Pull tab, tear away gift tags. So when I made my tear away gift tags a few years ago, I had no idea how popular they'd become. I'm always delighted to see people make them year after year for Christmas gifts. If you haven't seen these before, they have a convenient pull tab, which your gift recipient has to tear away before seeing who the present is either to or from or both. It's fun, interactive, and great for adding a little more mystery to the whole gift giving process. I've heard from many families who like to use these every Christmas morning, as well as those who use them for white elephant gift exchanges and even secret Santa gifts. So I thought it would be fun to have more designs and I'm happy to share more of my pull tab gift tag shapes so you can make your own unique gift tags this year. I have lots of different shapes for you to make as you can see. Now for this project, I used the contents of the latest Cricut mystery box as they were perfect for gift tags. From this mystery box right here, which is called the Sparkle and Shine, I used the Cricut Sparkle paper in rich red, sapphire blue, fuchsia green, and purple. Isn't it pretty? And I used Cricut metallic poster board in six metal shades, plus the metallic pens that come in gold, silver, copper, blue, and violet. Now, if you're not familiar with Cricut Mystery Boxes, you can learn all about them at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Mystery Box. And to find out if a Cricut Mystery Box is available right now, just go to jennifermaker.com slash mystery box. Of course, you don't have to use the mystery box to make this project. You can buy these items all separately or use whatever cardstock you may have on hand. I like to use cardstock or poster board with a white back uh, for the best results, just like this sparkle paper here. But you can use anything that works for you. Uh, if you want to use your Cricut to write on the inside of your tag, you'll also want a Cricut pen, and I will explain how that works in this tutorial. You'll also want some glue or double-sided tape to close up your DIY Christmas gift tag. Now, I use my Cricut cutting machine to cut these gift tags. I'm using my Cricut Maker, but you can use any cutting machine, including the Cricut Joy, for this project. We'll also need a green standard grip mat, a scraper, and a weeding tool. And that's basically it. This is a nice, simple project. You do not need a scoring tool for this project. I've included dashed cut lines to assist it in folding it for you. The only other thing you need are the pull tab shapes and designs themselves, and I'm sharing those freely as always. So let me show you where to find the free gift tag designs, and then we will make these together. Step one, get my free gift tag designs. To find my free designs, you just go to my blog at jennifermaker.com 360 and look for libraries in the red bar at the top. Click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. The easiest way to find it is to search the page for design number 360. But you can click this link to get an SVG file, a DXF file, and a PDF printable file. Over in Cricut Design Space, we need to upload the SVG, so we click on Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. If you don't know how to upload SVG files, you can go to jennifermaker.com SVGS to learn how. So these are in the folder that we downloaded called uh, Gift Tags Jennifer Maker. And I wanna note that in here, this one at the top that says Tearaway Gift Tag Shapes, these are the new ones. But to make this convenient for you, I put my older ones in here too, which are still awesome. And then I put some just general, simple, cut out and write on gift tags, right? So just some, just general templates. So there's a bunch of gift tags in here. <laughs> But this is the one we're working with today. So click on the Tearaway Gift Tag Shapes uh, Jennifer Maker SVG file and then click up Open. And this is what they look like. So we click Upload. And once they're in our recent uploads, we select it and choose Add to Canvas. And there they are. Let's zoom out so we can see all five of them. And there's the five shapes. So we've got a round like ornament ball, one with like curly edges, a pretty fancy Christmassy sort of shape. 
<laughs> a Christmas tree and an alternate tag that's a little different than the other ones. So just a rectangle, but it's got like these edges here. All right, so the, uh, if you want to just do them really simple, you can go ahead and make them right now. Right, they're already the size they should be. There is no scoring necessary. I have put all the lines that you need. I even have um, a little, some little, I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see. These, these little lines right here, this is actually a visual indicator to you to where you should put your writing so you don't accidentally put your writing outside of the, the tear strip area. Um, so these are all ready to go. So you could just make this right now, but I want to show you how to personalize these so that if you want to have, um, you know, like a little cutout word or picture on the front of the tag, and then I'll also show you how to put writing, like to say who the gift is to and from inside the tag, if you want, want to use your Cricut to do the writing for you. Step two, customize your gift tags. So to do this, the first thing we do is click ungroup up here in the top right. So now each one of these is individual. Now you want to pick the one that you want to make, um, I'll just leave them all up here because maybe we'll make more than one. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to start with this one right here. So I'll zoom in so we can see this one better. All right. And actually, let me just move these off to the side so our screen is nice and uncluttered. There we go. All right. So um, you may want to do, and let me give you an example of what it looks like. So with this one right here, I put these words Mary Maker on here. So uh, you might have a special word that you use. This might be for a special event. Uh, whatever, you know, whatever you want to put here, you can put here. Okay. So let me show you what, how I did this back in Cricut Design Space. So we need some text. So we click on text over here on the left and I'm just going to repeat the same thing and I'm going to type Mary. Okay. So there, I just typed it. It's all caps. It defaults to Cricut Sans, which is not what I want. I actually want to use a stencil font because if I do that, all the little counters inside my letters will stay in place, right? So you can see I used it in this one here, um, right here. So see, we can see that we've got the, uh, everything is here. This is a stencil font. You don't have to do this, but if you don't do it, you'll lose like the inside of your R's and the inside of your A. Okay, so, or any other letters or numbers that have those little counters on the inside, which is, counter is the word for the little part on the inside. So, um, in Cricut Design Space, and now I want to choose a stencil font so that all of my letters stay connected properly. So, I'm going to click on the font box at the top of the, of the window here, and I'm going to search for a stencil font. Honestly, the easiest way to do it is to type in the word stencil. Okay, now what fonts you see here are going to depend upon what you have installed on your system and um, all that kind of thing. Now, I'm going to use a Cricut Access font. Cricut Access is a subscription service through Cricut that gives you access to like hundreds of thousands of images and fonts. I think it's really useful for fonts. So I do have Cricut Access and I do really like it. Um, and especially for fonts. I love it for fonts. So I'm going to use a font called Campaign Stencil. Um, if you don't have Cricut Access and you need a, a stencil font, you might actually have one on your system. Let's see if I do or not. I don't have one on mine, but there are some free ones over at defont.com. Uh, they just need to be installed, okay? But we're going to use Campaign Stencil and it will change to look like this. Right, so you can see here that there's little lot stencil lines that will allow your paper to stay connected to all of its centers. Okay, so once you have that, we're going to drag it over onto our gift tag and resize it so it fits. So just like that. We don't have to worry about the color or anything like that. Just resize it with the handle in the lower cor right corner until it fits. Now I want another word at the bottom of this gift tag. So I'm going to right click on my word and I'm going to choose duplicate. So I just right clicked on it just like we did before and that brings up this menu and I'm going to click on duplicate. And that gives me the exact same font and size and everything. That's why I do it like that. And I will type in maker, Mary maker. Um, Cause I think that looks cute and it's totally on theme with what we're doing. <laughs> So Merry Maker, you can do anything you want. Of course, you could say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah. That has passed, but you know, future years. 
um, all sorts of whatever you want to do. You can put someone's name here if you don't want them to have to guess, anything like that. So now we have Mary and Maker here, and here's our card. Now here's where people usually go wrong. They're like, oh, um, I should slice these things out, right? So let's just do it together so we can see what happens. So first, uh, I'll just try slicing Mary out of Maker, okay? So to slice, we select two items and only two items. So I'm gonna select my text, and I'm gonna hold on the Shift key and select the tag behind it and I confirm that I only have two items selected over here in the Layers panel, and then I'm going to click on Slice. And it didn't even work. Oh, it did work. <laughs> Sorry, it did work. Okay, this is what we get, and this is where there's a problem. A lot of people get frustrated and confused because they're like, this didn't work because while it did slice out the letters, it removed all of the awesome perforations that we need to make this cool pull tab work. So you do not want to slice, but not to worry, you can still totally do this. So I'm gonna undo all the way back before I sliced with the undo uh, key right up here. Um, you can also press Command or Control uh, Z on your keyboard. Uh, okay, so my back, yes, okay. So instead of slicing, what you want to do is attach, and it will do the same thing. It will cut out the letters in the exact spot, um, and all you have to do is attach it. So we can select all of this, everything for our tag. So we've got these two layers and the tag itself, and then we come down here to attach and click it, and that's it. Isn't that easy? I know it's a lot of talking to explain it, but I wanna make sure it's really clear. You just attach it. <laughs> no slicing, welding, contouring is needed, just attach. And you want to do attach so that your perforation lines for your pull tag stay there. Okay, so now how do you personalize it? Now I want to point out something important. Um, this is meant to be the front of the tag, right? You need to keep in mind that right now, if we were to cut this, you would wanna cut this on the front of your pretty paper. But what do you do if you wanna put writing on the inside of your tag? right? So your writing needs to be inside your tag. And if you were to put your writing down right here, it would be on the outside of your tag, right? So that's a problem, but not to worry because we can fix that too. So let's first, let's make some text that we're going to do and I'll use my font. So I'm going to say to you and we'll change this right now to my maker pen writing font. Uh, oops. Let's try that again. M-A-K-E-R, usually brings it up, there we go. So this is my font of my, my handwriting. It's not amazing handwriting, but it's mine. <laughs> and it does look like real genuine handwriting, not like um, some of that handwriting that you see that's not actually handwriting. It's obviously, you know, it's obviously something else, okay. All right, so I wrote to you, and let's double click on that so we can open it up again. I'm gonna press the return key to go to a new line. And then I'm going to say from colon space Jennifer. So to you from Jennifer. And uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so this will be the text that we use our Cricut pen to write. So we would want to bring it down here and put it right here. Now let's zoom in so you can see this better. So you see these lines here? These are the lines where uh, anything in between these lines is visible once the pull tab is opened. So you want to make sure you put anything that you want your gift recipient to see inside those lines. So right now they would be able to see that. We could make it a tiny bit smaller if we wanted, right? There we go. Now, again, if, <laughs> if we were to make this right now like this, what would happen is we would get this text showing up on the outside of our gift tag and it would be upside down. <laughs> so that's not what we want because we're going to use our pen. We want it to be on the inside where it's hidden. So what we do is we select our tag and we're going to flip it so it's mirrored. We're going to mirror it ourselves right now. So we go to flip and we do flip horizontal. So I've selected just the tag and that's it. And my, and my text, right? I've selected the, the tag itself and the cutout words. I'm going to do flip horizontal and now it's backward. So now... That means we're gonna cut it with the pretty side down, the white side up, and we can put our text there. 
But one more thing, we have to flip it upside down like this so that when the gift tag is opened, it is not upside down, okay? And then now all we do is attach everything. So we just select everything here and click attach. Right now, our text, just because this is my font, if it's a Cricut writing font, it just changes to pen for you. But this is my font, so it, it defaults to cut. So we definitely do need to change that um, to the pen. And the way you do that is you select the you select the font there. And you can do this before or after you attach, that part doesn't matter. So you select the layer with your the, the text on it. You go to the operation menu, and you wanna change it from basic cut here to pen. And that's all you have to do. So you can do it before or after you attach. Um, you can change the color if you want to like simulate what it might look like. And I think that it doesn't really matter in this case because it's all red, so we're not really simulating anything. <laughs> so I'll just leave it as the default of black. And this is now ready to cut. <laughs> That's it. So much faster once you're just doing this without me talking about it. And this one is ready to go. Let me show you how to do another one. And I'm going to zoom out here. And how about this Christmas tree one? Because it's different orientation. Okay, so I'm going to drag this over here and move these over here and zoom back in to our Christmas tree. All right, so here's our Christmas tree. We'll work with this one separately. Um, there's a little space on the side for something. Hmm, I don't know what to put there. Let's see, how about a couple stars, okay? We'll just do, because we can do, we don't have to do text. We can also do shapes. So I'm gonna click on shapes over here on the left and I'm going to choose a star right here. These, all of these things at the top here are free for everyone to use. If you have Cricut access, you have access to all of these other shapes, all right? But I'll use um, a free star, and I just click that, and a star will appear on my canvas, and I'm gonna drag it over to my Christmas tree, and I'm gonna resize it like this. So there's a star. And I should also put in something that sh should be mirrored so it makes sense. Uh, so. I'll just put in my initials and I'll choose JM and there's my initials, but I'm going to use a different font. I'm going to use that same stencil font. So I come up to the fonts menu and I type in stencil and I'll choose the campaign stencil font, which is a Cricut access font. And there it is. So I resize it and it'll be down here in the corner. Okay. So you can put anything you want here. Just keep in mind that if it's an image, um, anything that's not connected will get sliced out. It'll just because it, you know, can't if it's not connected to your tree, it will disappear once you cut it out because it's just paper, right? But we're going to use these two. All right. So we need to um, again this we're, because we're going to do our writing, we're going to do them upside down. You know, like we're gonna we're gonna cut them. Um, mirrored. We're going to cut them mirrored so that we can put our writing on the inside of the tag. So we want to mirror anything that's on the, going to appear on the outside of the tag. So to do that, first I'm going to attach everything, as I said. So we just select everything here and I click attach. And it just changes to a star in the corner and JM in the other corner. And that will cut right out. To, so you just attach that. And then we're going to go up to flip and we're gonna mirror it ourselves right here before we do anything else. So I'm gonna to go to flip and choose flip horizontal. This is basically a manual mirror, okay? So we've now mirrored it. So it should appear and mirror backwards. All right, now, by the way, if you're not putting in anything that, uh, anything like text or anything that has to be in a specific, you know, alignment like that, you don't need to do the mirroring part, okay? And then down here, we're gonna type in um, a font, and this time instead of using my font, I'll use one of the Cricut writing fonts. So I click on text, and in the font menu, uh, I will click X to clear my search. And then I'll go to filters, and I will choose writing right there. And that shows me all the fonts that have a writing option. And this matters because if you don't write it, it'll It'll cut it all out, all around the edges. I'm sorry, it'll draw around the edges of it, and that will give you funny bubble letters. <laughs> so what will not look like this, it will look like uh, um, it's just outlined, okay? So let's just find a cute writing font here. 
There's a lot of them. And they, this is not even showing you what it looks like when it's writing. It does look a little different. Um, this one is probably close, but like this one won't fill in as much as you see here, okay? Um, let's see, fluffy socks is really cute. Let's choose fluffy socks, DTC fluffy socks. So I select that and it's, you can see it right there. Now very important, you need to go to style and choose writing, okay? If you don't do that, you're gonna get the other version of it, the default version, which is not the writing version. All right, so now we have fluffy socks and writing selected and I'm gonna type in the same that I had before to you from Jennifer. All right, so that's what the fluffy socks looks like. That's cute. If we want, we can center it by going to the alignment menu and choosing center. All right, so there it is. I'll drag it over here so we can see it next to our tree. Obviously much too big right now because it needs to fit in between these lines here. So I'm gonna resize it. It's also got a lot of extra line space here. I can reduce the line space by going to the line space menu at the top and making it smaller so it, um, it's like more compressed and smooshed, so less space in between the two lines. There we go, that looks better. Now, I'm gonna put it on top of my tag and it, uh, obviously that's not quite right, so we need to rotate it so that it's in between these lines. So you can rotate it um, by clicking on this rotate handle right here, or you can just go up to the rotate uh, field up here and type it in, but I'll just do it right here. And by the way, here's a tip. If you hold down your shift key as you're rotating, you rotate in nice increments like this. This is what it looks like without the shift key. This is what it looks like with the shift key. So I recommend you hold on the shift key and then you can get it straight up and down just like this. And let's zoom in more so we can see what we're doing. We want the text to be in between all those little lines there so that it can be read by our recipient. There we go, that looks good. There, so to you from Jennifer, so it's in between these little lines here so that when the tab is pulled, you can see the message, okay? So we've mirrored our tag, it's flipped over, and this part, you know, you can put it this orientation, you can flip it around in you know, 180 degrees and have it the other way. That doesn't matter so much with these vertical ones. So this is good to go. Let's make sure that it's got the pen and it is already on pen by default. So if you choose writing, it just switches to pen for you. And now we can select everything and click attach. Now earlier someone said that sometimes double attaching causes issues. So if you're having that problem, we will, I'll show you what to do, just undo this and then detach the tag and its elements by choosing it and going in it down to detach and then select everything so that now you have your pen font, your writing layer, I should say. Um, here's your the elements and the tag is also selected. Oh, here, here's a tag, here's the star, here's the letters and here's the writing layer. So they're all selected and then we click attach. So now it's all ni nice and neatly attached into one um, package. I'll do the same thing on the other side because if it fails, we would have to redo it. No one, no one wants to see me fail today. <laughs> so I'll select this one um, and do a detach here and detach this and then we'll attach the whole thing together. And there we go. So there, these two are now ready to go. So we have two tags. They're both uh, mirrored manually. They both have the text in the right position. The, the circle ones need to be upside down. The rectangular or you know side ones are just gonna be, at, the text will be on its side. And let's save our work right now. Step three, cut out your gift tags. We have our designs all ready to go. Uh, we've saved our work. So uh, we've got a machine selected. I'm gonna use the maker, but you can use any Cricut to cut these and we click on make it in the upper right corner. By the way, if you want to resize these to fit, you know, like on your mat differently, you can. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do these at the size we have. So I'm gonna click on make it. Then that will take us to the prepare screen. And oops, it's got all the other ones on the mat. <laughs> I don't wanna cut those. Let's just go back and hide those. I forgot to hide them. Here we go. Uh, the easiest way is to uh, drag a box around all three of them and group them and then click the eye icon to hide them. All right, now let's click make it. 
Now there are a lot of lines in these files, so if it there's a little delay when you click make it, it's just because it's got a it's a big file. Okay. So here's the green one and here's the red one. And how about we do two different colors? Um, I have, and then, then we can see what it's like on both of them. So I have, here's the, the sparkle paper, uh, which looks like this. So, and then I have the, post, the metallic poster board. So let's do, let's use the copper metallic pen and I will do silver metallic poster board for the round one. And let's, let's see right now, like I told you to test it, let's check it right now. And uh, these weren't being stored, oh, they're, they're being stored on their side, so they should be okay, but always, before you start using your Cricut in your machine, make sure that the ink is flowing. So I'm right, I'm right down here at the edge, I am just gonna do a little test and it looks lovely. Let me show you in case you can't see it. So I'm never gonna use that little section down there, so that's totally a fine place to test it. And then we're gonna use green for the Christmas tree tag. Cause that's so pretty. Um, and it's white on the other side, so we're good to go. So we'll use these two papers. Again, this is the Cricut Sparkle paper, and this is the Cricut poster, metallic poster board that come in these packs here. All right, and of course I also have used this one, this foil poster board, and you can use a lot of different things. Um, okay, so let's uh, go back to Cricut Design Space, and so we know what we're gonna do. So I always, whenever I'm doing a writing project, I always make sure that my writing is attached because it's, you know, it's easy to forget, let's be honest. So I check over here to make sure it says pen at the top and basic cut below it. It doesn't really matter what order it is, but that is the order that it will do it in. And I, I also look at it. Does it look the way I expected it to? Do I see it? Does it look weird? So always check this screen, right? So this looks good and this one also looks good. Everything is mirrored. My text is upside down. Um, so I think we are good to go. So we click continue and the, um, I've connected to my machine. I've got my USB cable in. Now the first one is going to be our sparkle paper. So let's click on browse all materials. I don't know if this is a material setting or not, to be honest. This is the first time I've ever used it. There it is, sparkle paper. So we'll choose that for our first one. Then I'll show you how to come back here and select poster board. I'm gonna give it some extra pressure because you know me, I like to do that. So here is our green, we're gonna use the green standard grip cutting mat for this. Take off our mat, mat cover. And here is the paper we're going to use. And this has two sides, okay? So we've got this pretty green sparkle side, so pretty, and the white side. We wanna cut it on the white side so that when we fold it, it folds up into the green side, okay? So when I say pretty side, I mean the side that you wanna see when you're all done. And then this is the white side. That part I think is self-explanatory. So we're just gonna put it onto our mat like this. There we go. Oops, it's not quite lined up there. Let's fix that. Wouldn't want it cutting funny. Uh, there we go. I had to stop talking so I could focus. I'm getting it straight on my mat. <laughs> All right, so this is good. You know, you could use a brayer to push it down, but I think it's okay. You do want to use at least the green mat. If you're having issues, if, you if your green mat's not super sticky, you might actually want to go up to the purple strong grip mat because this is thicker than usual, um, stiffer. Okay, so now we go to our Cricut and got our little cutie. Let's replace this with our silver one. Here we go. You need to keep us company while we work. <laughs> All right, so we've got our, our paper on the mat and I'm gonna load that in. Just press that up against the rollers and press the load button, load it in. All right, now we've got the fine point blade in there already and that's what we use for this project. But now we need our Cricut pen. And I am using um, the one that came in the metallic pen set pack. And this is a medium 1.0 tip, and it's gold, 
Okay, so it's the gold one. Oh, I said I was going to use copper, didn't I? Well, here's the one that's in copper. <laughs> we'll use copper. Okay. So um, to put it in, you just take off the cap. Oh, we should test to make sure this one's writing too. Always test your pens before you write. Yep, and that looks great. Okay. Um, so you take off the cap and you just push it down into your pen holder until it snaps usually. Let's, let's see if we hear it snap. Snap. If it doesn't snap, it's okay. Um, it just needs to be seated down in there. Um, close the clamp, that's important, and then put your cap back on your pen so you don't lose it, because that happens. <laughs> I speak from experience. Okay, so everything looks good. Our light is flashing, and we press that to start cutting. Our drawing, it's going to draw first, then cut. And it is the green layer. We're doing green. I always like to double check, because I have plenty of times accidentally cut um, the wrong color. <laughs> It happens to all of us. Okay. So let's take a look at what we have. So I'm going to press the unload button and show you. So you can't, you can kind of see it there, but let's do it in our other camera. So we can see the cut here, and then there is our cute writing right there, two year from Jennifer, because that is very true. And um, let's uh, take this off the mat, and I'll show you how to glue it up, and then we'll cut the other one. Step four, assemble your gift tag. So whenever we take things off our mat, we always flip our mat over and um, pull our mat away from our project. I'll just do it like this. It's stuck on here pretty well. There we go. And then we do this because it's less likely to rip our material or curl it or bend it or whatever, right? So there we go. And then we can take this off. And of course, we're going to want to save this amazing paper. I'll make some more tags with this later. And then we get these little bits on here left over. And you'll want to use your scraper to just scrape them right off. And so you can just put your next color back on, okay? And then, so here is our tag. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So it's, um, oh, we need to poke out the little stars. And for, if yours are smaller and they don't poke out by hand, you would just use a weeding tool to get them out. And um, this is really easy. So then we just fold it up and I've already got some little dashed score lines in there right there. And then you glue it. So I'm just gonna use my glue and uh, you can see the name is there. And you always want to make sure it did go in the right spot. You want it to be in between these little cuts. That is your guide. And then I just put glue all around the outside like this. And you only want it to be on the outside because you don't want to interfere with their ability to open up their uh, tag, right, with the pull tabs. So don't put any glue up here. Stay away from the cut lines. And also, because you have some letters cut out here, you don't want to interfere, you don't want any glue squishing out there either. So once you have your glue on, let's zoom in a little bit here so you can see this better. Oh, this is, this is as far as it goes, sorry. <laughs> um, you just press down and line everything up so that it's in the same spot. That looks good. And then press down on it, on the edges, because that's where your glue is. And uh, just hold it there for, you know, I don't know, 10 seconds and you're done. That is it. You can make a lot of these tags pretty quick. So, oops, let's hold it down some more. Oh, and it moved too. I'm probably talking too much. Let's glue that again. You know, glue does dry pretty, and this is, this is pretty quick drying glue. And you can certainly do this part up here, but you want to make sure that you're avoiding, you know, wherever your pull tag is. Okay, let's do that again and hold it in place this time. All right, so here's our mat again. And the, we're going to use the uh, Cricut Metallic Poster Board, which looks like this. It's the same color on both sides, but I've already done a pen test, and we can tell that it writes really well. So it's going to look great anyways. I don't know what's going on there, so let's flip it over. No, this is, be the, this is the pretty side, right? So if you've got two sides, you want the nice side, the side that people to see, that people will see, that needs to go on face down on your mat, okay? 
So because I have this kind of funny mark here, which I don't know where it came from. This is, you know, it's metallic, so it's got to finish. Maybe it got scratched by me when I was opening or something. All right, so this is um, pushed down. So we go back over to our Cricut. There's our mat. We put it in. And we're going to load it up. The fine point blade is still in there. And our pen is still in here ready to go. But of course, you could change the pen color if you wanted. Now, if we go back to Cricut Design Space, we see that it's telling us it's ready to cut this one. Um, this is the, you know, I know it says red here, but we're going to do it in silver. It doesn't really matter. The Cricut doesn't know that I'm doing a different color. Um, but it's set to sparkle paper. So we want to change it to poster board. So we're going to click on the word sparkle paper, just like that. And that gives us access to our materials again. So I'm going to click browse all materials and type in poster board. That's not how we spell poster board. <laughs> here we go. Uh, okay, so... We have three choices and we're using the metallic poster board. So we choose that and click done. And I'm going to give it a little extra pressure for a nice clean cut. And we've got the pen in there. Now I should note that I actually have the one point pen in there and it's not black, <laughs> but it doesn't, again, it doesn't matter. The Cricut doesn't know the Cricut will just do its writing anyways. All right. So this looks good and we're ready to go ahead and um, press the flashing button and write and cut this. So we have our tag. Let's take a look at it and see how it did. So uh, here it is in the Cricut. So let's unload that. Press the flashing button to unload it. And this is what it looks like. You can see some of the paper kind of falling away there uh, from where it was cut out. So that looks good to me. Cut really well. So let's flip it over. And there it is. <coughs> Care of our surface. So if you have these little bits that didn't just pop out, you can just use a weeding tool to take them out. Just usually that works. Okay. So let's see how this one worked because this is the one that we had to flip and mirror and turn upside down. And a lot of you were like, wow, why do you have to do that? So here's the outside of the card and it folds up like this. Let's fold it up right like this. So this is the outside and it's, you can't tell <laughs> anything from the outside, you know, anything about who it's for, who it's from. The course is your prerogative, but you can see our letters and they're cut out and, and at the right, we can actually read them. They're not backwards. And when they go to open this, they will see, I'll just simulate it so that you'll, they will see the to and from right under the pull tab, right? So if we just flip that open, they'll be able to see it. See how that works? Uh, yeah, so now we just want to be sure to glue it. So we just glue around the perimeter of our circle. And just do a little loop right there. And then bring it down. You don't want to put any glue where um, any of your cutout letters are or where your pull tab is because it would interfere with it. And then press it down. The other reason why having white paper is nice to use is because then your uh, letters here, there are, uh, you can see them better. So for example, in uh, this one, yes. In this one, you can see that the, it's because it's white on the other side, we can see our letters better, but you know, it still looks nice. It's very classy, I think. Here is our finished tag. And you can just take a little string so here I have some string that I got at the dollar store because I'm fancy like that. <laughs> uh, and I will just, um, let's see, we're putting on, let's, do, let's go with blue. And you would just cut off a little bit of string. Um, you don't have to, you could of course tape these on, but I like string because since these are interactive gift cards, it makes sense that there would like be some play so that a person can sort of manipulate them as they're doing it. And my string is stuck in here. 
there we go. Um, so I like, that's why, and I put holes in all of these so that it would be really easy to do that. So you just put the string through the hole and tie it. I'm sure this part you can figure out, you don't need me to do that, but we're gonna finish this. <laughs> yep, and then tie it. Remember to tie it from the opposite side when you do your double knot so it doesn't just uh, come out on you. And trim off the ends. Here we go. And move all these things off to the side. And here is our package. And I'm like really, uh, uh, lazy is not the word. I work smarter, not harder. <laughs> I just usually wrap it around my um, gift like that and then it's ready to go. And there we go, so a really cool pull tab, uh, pull tab gift tag. Say that five times fast. So there's one here. Remember, you don't have to have the Merry Maker here. That, we customize that. It can just be this nice big ornament. So, and here are the other styles. We have this cute uh, framed tag. And we have this one here, which is sort of a, looks kind of like a, like a store tag or something. And we have our Christmas tree, which, which is right here. Thank you for crafting along with me. I love these fun gift tags, and I know you're going to get a kick out of them too. So will the people who get your gifts. <laughs> now, if you have any questions about making these tearaway gift tags, just leave your question below this video or ask over in my Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. <laughs>